Well, g'day, fishos. Welcome to our Port Stephens Christmas report. That's it, big fellas, only days away from coming down the chimney. So, what's happening around Port Stephens, especially for local anglers and visiting anglers? Well, the whiting are biting. Plenty of good whiting in the bay this week. Some absolute beauty. So, if you're keen on chasing whiting, uh, definitely getting the bay at the moment. The water's obviously warming up. You know, we've had a suddenly last few days. They'll actually do it really good. A little bit of rain as well, but I don't think it'll discolour the water too much. But plenty of whiting around the flats, up towards Taylor's Beach, uh, down along Corlett, the groins there, some good whiting through there, along Bagnall's Beach on the high tide, and also down through Shoal Bay. Although Shoal Bay, I think come Boxing Day, will be standing room only. If you can find an umbrella to sit under, just borrow somebody else's and have a fish off the beach there. So plenty of whiting around. If you happen to get over the other side of the bay, then Jimmy's Beach will be the go for a few whiting over there. Likewise, Pindima and up towards the entrance of the crew around Tarly, places like that. There'll be plenty of whiting at the moment. So live worms, dead worms, or even, if you're keen, a few surface lures as well. So some cracking whiting around at the moment. Pete sent me a photo of an absolute beauty that he caught on, none other than the Daiwa uh, bait junkie prawn. Those things are red hot. We've got more supply just turned up for the holidays, so plenty of, uh, of those prawns in stock at the moment. If you're keen on using those, I know we are just going through them like there's no tomorrow. So, good whiting around. Still some good flatties around. Been sent plenty of photos this week again of some really good flatties. Uh, young KO, I think he's fishing day, night, day, night, day, night. I reckon Christmas Day will be fishing, but uh, he's been sending some photos in and some really good flatties about as well. So keen on doing your flathead fishing. I think early morning, late afternoon, there's going to be lots of people around. You've got to get up early before that sun gets up. And I mean early, 4.35 o'clock, get into it and uh, go around those quiet beaches. So anywhere around Corlett again, the groins, uh, down along Shoal Bay Beach, down the eastern end. Even Little Beach will hold really good flatties. Uh, Nelson Bay Beach. So any of those quiet little bays and beaches will hold flatties, but you've got to get there early before the swimmers get there, uh, before everyone sets up their barbecue and tents get there, before anybody gets there in your way, you'll go, you'll catch a few flatties at the moment, that's for sure. If you're in the boat, uh, the, the, obviously the Karua system's still firing for some nice flatties, some good crabs up there as well. Um, over the other side at uh, obviously the shortcut area, there's some good flatties over there, but like I said, you've got to get up early to beat the crowds at this time of year, that's for sure. Tilgary's still firing uh, some flatties up there, although they've moved down around the Taylor's Beach area, around Mud Island there, so around the flats there, be worth a shot as well. Definitely put the crab traps in there. I know there's some good blue swimmers there. I know I spoke to Smacky. He got some really nice blue swimmers up around that neck of the woods, some absolute beauties. I've given his secret away, there you go. So I'm sure he's got a feed for Christmas. So get the crab traps out, a few blue swimmers. A couple of mile away around this week, I think the tides will be better this week, we're leading up to the full moon, so definitely worth a mulloway crack inside the bay. Arrow squid, well, the good old arrow squid, Shoal Bay, Wharf, Little Beach, uh, even Nelson Bay Beach will hold those arrows. Smaller jigs, which we have in stock, little Yamashitas, 1.5, 1.8s, and 2.2s. Doing the job on the squid, likewise, over at Jimmy's there, like I mentioned before, around Barnes's Rock. There's plenty of squid over that way at the moment as well. So, a few kings along the break wall, uh, a few rats around, but uh, I think there's bigger models there. You've just got to be patient, get the live baits in, and you will get a bigger model on the kingies along the break wall at the moment. So, bay fishing well, if you're coming up, fishing the bay, my suggestions, nailing the whiting and the flatties at the moment inside the bay. Now, on the beaches, that suddenly would have done the beaches some really good uh, work over there. I think it would have uh, obviously gotten rid of the redweed. I know the redweed's just been annoying from Seal Rocks all the way down to Barubi. But uh, I think that suddenly would have shifted a bit of redweed, and I think you'll find that beaches will fire up. Uh, I spoke to Gary. He's been catching some really big whiting uh, in the 40s down off Barubi there on live worms. So plenty of good uh, whiting down that way. Uh, younger Gary got a nice dewy, uh, 23 kilos off the beach, an absolute cracker. So the beach is on fire, I think, after this suddenly, that warm water will push in, 21 degree water, and it should be pretty good. Samurai looks really good, but again, it's going to be an early or late option. There's going to be plenty of vehicles on the beach. Those quieter beaches up the top end of Fingal there around the spit will be worth a shot. Not, not a lot of people want to walk up that way, but the fishing can be good. They want to get a little bit lazy. So if you're keen on the walk up there, you'll definitely be rewarded up towards the spit there and on the northern side if the northerly's not blowing, that is for sure. Give Kingsley a go as well. 
Uh, Kingsley always produces a few nice fish at this time of year, especially whiting. So definitely get down to Kingsley Beach. On the rocks, now I think with that uh, warmer water pushing in, there'll be a few bonito around the rocks, uh, some good tailors. Salmon are still about as well. Also, also be worth fishing for a kingy. Throwing a few stick baits or even a live bait off the rocks at them may be worth a shot. After this little bit of swell, go and have a crack at a snapper off the rocks. Floating baits off the rocks around Boat Harbour there, Boulder Bay, be worth a shot for a red. Um, I think it'll be really good for doing that too. So rocks aren't too bad. Pelagic action, a little bit slow, but it's that time of year. Now on the offshore scene, if you're keen to get out and get a feed, especially uh, Christmas Eve, looks pretty good. Uh, definitely get out there and have a crack at some trag. I went out on Monday with a good mate. We bagged on the trag in about 40 minutes. Uh, that's all we needed, our five trag each, and away we went, home we came. Uh, back to work for me, but uh, it was good to get a feed of fresh fish. Uh, plenty of trags on, on all the reefs there. We fished just inside the big gibber there, so plenty of trag there. Uh, likewise, trag down on the 21, the outer V, all those areas. Uh, the boys on Pacific Blue and Nelson Bay Charters been getting some really nice fish, trag and snapper, so on the deeper reefs as well, so definitely worth a shot. Uh, Sealy's had some cold water there, but I reckon it would have warmed up. Be worth a snapper bash uh, later this weekend, I think, because the warm water would have pushed in there. It'll probably push a bit of bait. The snapper should be feeding on plastics up there. Likewise with the kingies, uh, some good kings up that way. If the water pushes in nice there with the bait, there should be some kings on stick baits if you're keen on doing that. Uh, some kings around Broughton at the moment. I know some guys have been trolling live baits getting smashed up on big kings there. Little Island, the north uh, northeast corner of Little Island. Some rat kings there, but there'll be the odd good one there. Uh, big Island's got some reds in the washes. Plenty of tail in the washes there as well. Front of Fingal, uh, definitely worth a shot in the washes there. I know there's some big tailor in there. I spoke to Dave, he's throwing live, he's around trying to get a king. He said some of the tailor in there biting him off and he got some absolute beauties, two and a half kilos. So some good tailor about. Further down to Rocky there, uh, it'd be worth a shot. Some reds in the shallows, out wide of Boulder Bay. Uh, definitely trag and might be worth having a crack at a dewy this time here in that deeper water. That warmer water pushes in and those dewy start to fire up in that sort of 80 to 110 metres. Definitely worth a shot for sure. Now on the offshore scene, some good dolphin fish out on the shelf. Hasn't been too many on the fad only because the water hasn't been there. But I suspect that suddenly might have pushed some water back in there. Well, I haven't had a look at rib charts only because it's been cloudy. Uh, but last weekend and during the week, so a few striped marlin caught. The boys on Cantata went two from three on lures. Uh, Dan went out on Monday just before that Sudley and uh, had three bites, caught one, only in a three-hour session because of that Sudley. So a few stripes on the edge of the shelf there. I know Benny caught one during the week as well, so skip baiting there. So a little secret weapon. Uh, those chugger heads on the top of a skip bait work really well. If you're keen on having those, we've got those in stock, those chugger heads. Definitely do the trick on those striped marlin. So... Keen on getting out in the shelf, definitely worth a shot this weekend. I reckon Christmas Eve will be the go if you want to go and have a look for an early season strike. Anyway, that's it for uh, our Christmas report. Plenty happening. Uh, we'll be in store uh, Saturday, Sunday, so 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Christmas Eve. We're closed Christmas Day. Got to have one day off. And then we'll reopen Boxing Day at 6 a.m. So we've got plenty of stuff. If you need a stocking fillet, well, we've got it for you here. Anyway, have a good Christmas, and we'll talk next week.